pressure to perform is mounting, everything's getting faster. Our pace of life has increased considerably over the past few years. No one can avoid stress and tension in everyday life. But how can we live relaxed and healthily in spite of stress? In our modern performance-oriented society, many people see stress as a part of everyday life. That's the result of the latest stress report of the Federal Republic of Germany with more than 17,000 participants. The World Health Organization, too, confirms in its studies that stress is a frequent and increasing health problem around the globe. Who's affected by stress? To make a long story short, all of us. Managers are just as affected as workers, students just as much as housewives. They all often feel exhausted, work under pressure, and hardly have any time to unwind and relax. A phenomenon that many athletes experience as well. And the underlying causes are diverse. Multiple responsibilities, having to do several things at a time, high pressure to meet deadlines or pressure to perform, being interrupted by calls or emails while focusing on tasks, but also repetitive or tedious work. Many experts recommend substantial lifestyle changes to deal with stress symptoms. But we all know that changing your life is not that easy. That's why Dr. Anke Ertan, doctor for preventive medicine, has been researching for years how to effectively combat the negative effects of stress by taking micronutrients. Dr. Anke Ertan is a pioneer in the field of preventive medicine. She's been studying stress symptoms since 2004. In the last few years, Dr. Atten has noticed an increase in the number of patients with stress symptoms. Patients complain of a variety of different symptoms such as restlessness, sleeping disorders and absent-mindedness. The people who come to see her often have very demanding jobs like managers, but also housewives. She also has more and more athletes among her patients, because athletes know that stress can affect performance. Dr. Atten focuses on the aspect of dietary supplements when treating stress symptoms. For years now, her use of micronutrients has yielded very good results. And now I'd like to welcome Anke Atten to our studio. Welcome. Hello. So what exactly happens in my body when I'm really stressed? Well, imagine that every cell in your body is a power plant. The power plant produces energy, and during the production of energy, toxic substances develop. And these toxic substances are called free radicals. Mm, sounds dangerous. Yes, and it is dangerous. Under normal circumstances, these free radicals can be neutralized without any problems. But if the engine is running hot, running continuously, then over time there are too many free radicals for your body to cope with on its own. And then we start to feel stressed and our performance is impaired. Now that's very important. You just said running continuously, so that means we're talking about stress over a longer period of time. We're not talking about a few hours or days, but many weeks and many months. Well, let's take a look at what's really happening in our body. Sure. Let's take a closer look at a simplified model of a cell with, as you can see here, the cell walls, the nucleus and the mitochondrion. The power plant. Exactly. And this mitochondrion produces energy and during energy production free radicals develop. These dark spheres here. Exactly. They are then usually caught by antioxidants. It's quite easy to see, the green balls I'd call them. Exactly. And under continuous stress, mitochondria produce more energy and more free radicals. And then there are not enough antioxidants and the cell is damaged. We can see that in the background. It looks a little bit like a crack in a glass wall. Exactly. And in this situation, we can't perform well anymore. We can't concentrate and we feel stressed. It would be perfect if we could avoid stress altogether, but of course it doesn't work that way. So what steps can we take against the negative effects of stress? We can provide sufficient micronutrients to our body. This includes, for example, vitamin E, selenium, and there are also very highly effective plant-based substances such as chlorophyll, green tea, and especially resveratrol. Basically, resveratrol is one of the strongest antioxidants there is. It can absorb a high number of free radicals per time unit. That's why it can reduce stress effectively. So what you're saying is basically if I eat a lot of resveratrol every day, I'll feel fantastic overnight and I'll be completely stress-free. Is it really that simple? 
Yes and no. It is certainly beneficial to absorb the free radicals, but we also need additional micronutrients to ensure our energy supply and the vitamin B group, choline, L-carnitine, iron, and most importantly, coenzyme Q10 are worth mentioning here. Hmm, a long list of names. We'll explain them a little more in depth and take a closer look at them with our viewers. Okay, we can see Q10 entering the cell here. It is a very important energy supplement because it directly supports the mitochondria, our power plants. There are also very important nutrients like iron, which is central in the transport of oxygen. And then, on the mental health side, to improve memory retention and mental strength, we need B vitamins and choline, which are also important for the delivery of sufficient glucose to the nerve cells. And if we manage to take in the perfect mix of these micronutrients regularly, we will feel the difference not only physically but also mentally. We will be in better shape and we will be able to concentrate better and not feel stressed any longer. So it's all in the mix, it's in the right mix of these micronutrients. Correct. When will I start feeling the effect of all that? Well, most people feel it shortly after. They instantly have energy for their body and mind and they feel more productive. They can concentrate better and want it never to go away again. But there is a small group of patients who do not notice anything themselves. The thing is, we can actually measure those things in serum, in blood, and we find that stress markers decrease and that the level of micronutrients increases. And that's very interesting for us as doctors, because that means that it can protect cells. You use the term stress marker. Can you explain what that means? Stress markers are byproducts of metabolism that develop when we feel stressed, and the higher the level of stress markers, the more stress our body experiences. Oh, okay. I have some of my patients' test results with me, and I will use them to demonstrate that to you. Great, go ahead. So, here you can see three of the stress markers that we measured. That's creatinin, lipid peroxides, and 8-EP prostaglandin. And what you can see here quite nicely is that by taking these combined micronutrients over time, the level of all of them decreases progressively. That's a lot. We have minus 6, minus 47%. And that's the most important thing, because that's how we prove that the body feels less stress. To sum up, not only do I feel well, I can also prove it with medical evidence. Yes, exactly right. And there is another effect. We can take a look at that too. The level of stress definitely decreases, but at the same time the concentration of micronutrients in serum increases. That means that you're less stressed, but that you also feel far more productive. And that's very important too. That means in non-medical, unscientific terms, more power, less stress. Yes, you could say that, right. So we know for sure that we cannot avoid stress completely in today's world, but we now know exactly which micronutrients to take to fight the negative effects of stress. That's great, but if we know it, why are there still people who feel stressed out? Can't we just say, come on, give me the pill? Yes, it would be great if it was that easy, but of course you need to be careful which micronutrients you take, what dosage and for whom. And another important factor is that many people simply do not know that they can use micronutrients to do something about the consequences of stress. Well, that's why it's great that you came here today to talk about your work and about the effects of micronutrients. Thank you very much, Dr. Atan. You're welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, we've now learned what to take to make us feel better and less stressed from stress. So take care and see you soon.